Hi everybody, it's Bertie here, the recycled hippie chick. Oh, I have a dog sitting right in my chair, and heaven forbid if I were to make him move. So I'm sitting on the very edge, letting him have the rest of the back of the chair. Okay, I'm trying to finish up this art journal. It's my own, and I stick little things like this is my picture of me and my pony Cindy when I was five. So I try to put things like this in here and uh, I'll leave a little note with it. I'm gonna try to make a pocket out of this and then I'll slide a little tag in it with a note telling what it was. So when I'm gone, if my children find it, they will know, you know, what this picture was and who it was and all that good jazz. So. I'm making a pocket. I have glued it to some cardboard. I probably ought to trace around it so I know where I'm putting my um, trim. I'm going to put trim under the edge. Okay. I'm sorry if I have shadows. It's evening while I am doing my art video and I don't have all that fancy lighting equipment cause why? I don't care that much about it. <laughs> I'm just having fun and I'm just playing. I don't plan on <laughs> making this my business or nothing. So I'm just bringing you guys along while I play. Dogs barking at absolutely nothing, probably. It's what they're good at. Our new dog is not quite used to all the sounds around here. Cooper. Okay, I'm going to put ribbon all around. And then I'm going to put this brown... I don't know, ripped up rag or whatever it is on the inside of that just so it's not so girly looking. I like this hot glue gun, but it dries so darn fast that I, I'm not enjoying the process. I'm hurrying up to just get done before the glue dries. There, we'll see how that, we'll see how that stays. I don't use um, glue stick any more than I have to because I've been hearing people lately say that they think the glue stick pops off later. So, I don't want everything to fall apart. I wonder if I should just put this one on the outside. Put the lace on the inside. Put this one on the outside. Maybe I should do that. Oh, let's see here. I really don't know how well I'm... I'm I don't want to sew it because I have a pretty picture on the other side and I don't want to sew through to my pretty picture. So I'm hot gluing it. I thought it would be cute sewed around the edge, but I just don't want to mess up my little, see that's going to be a cute picture with the bird over there. So. My only picture that I could totally mess up, and that's what I'm doing. Isn't that the way we roll? I don't have a spare. And this is the only picture I could find of me and Cindy. So I really don't want to mess it up. We used to do trail rides, so that little shirt I'm wearing 
is uh, our trail riding shirt. So this picture must have been taken before we were loading for a trail ride somewhere. My dad used to work for, I don't know, I'm going to say the township. I don't know. Because, you know, when you're five, you don't know the name of those places. But I do know he had access of everything in the city. I knew, no, he, if he wanted to borrow a bulldozer or a road grader or whatever, he had access to that. So, he would borrow their great big grain truck. I call it a grain truck. I don't know what it was. You know, there again, when you're five, you don't know exactly what these trucks are. But it was great big. It reminded me of a grain truck nowadays. And he would bring that home and we would load all of our horses up in the back of it and take them wherever we were going to begin our trail ride at. Go unload and then ride all day. And my mom would meet us there with the Seisha wagon full of camping equipment. And uh, we would camp out overnight and then ride all of our horses back. And this is not butamous, but I like it. It's going to work. And so those are some of my fun, fun childhood memories. Now, I need... I don't know what. I don't have... You know what? I'm going to make my own. I'm going to make my own tag name or whatever you want to call it. Word. And we'll call it Trail Ride. Those are very big. Those are not what I want. I want the littler ones. We want it in black. Okay. Here we go. T R A I L. R I D E L R Trail Ride. Okay, D E. We know we can know we can get that going. I think we better do it on this side. We know the E is last. <laughs> oh great. Isn't that just dandy? Okay, now I threw the E in. I got frustrated. Here we go. I-D-E. Trail ride. Is trail ride all one word? Trail ride. I'm not going to make it because I don't know. Oh my gosh, you guys. We'll make it. We'll make it like this. We'll just cut that off. T R A I L A. We need an A. We need an A. A? Could we have an A? Here we go. T R A I L T R. Hey, <laughs> you guys, I'm sorry. But I think out loud. I do everything out loud. You can tell. I do everything out loud. Okay, we're going to do this. We're going to cut this wonky A-L-L off. And we got our little word trail ride. 
Well, this is going to be a fast video, isn't it? Let's see here. Where's my little ink dauber? I don't know. So let's just use this gold. I don't know where my ink dauber is to ink around the edge of my word. So let's just use our finger and we'll just use gold. And go around it. There we go. There's one word. You know what? If I put trail right here, then I'm going to cover it up with my tag. So I'm going to put the trail ride down here. On my... trim. I don't have enough. I don't see enough of the gold. Well, we're going to see enough gold on this one. That's for sure. Got a little crazy with the aiming of the finger. I have got a lot of gold on my finger and nothing is coming off. Goodness. There we go. Good enough. There we go. Now, I wish I had a little. Here, there's something. not a q-tip but it's something rotten <laughs> oh boy let's see here what we can come up with q-tip now let's go over the little edge here a little better with our Q-tip. That's what I should have used instead of my fingers to begin with. I like this little gold, whatever this stuff is. I need to use it more often. I forget that I have it. There we go. Now, I'm going to push pause and go find a tag we can decorate and pick up this mess. Okay. I found this little tag. I think it'll fit. It's pretty much already made background. Yeah. I'll fit down in there and I'll put some lined paper on the back and write, you know, who it is and everything. And um, I might put a couple beads on the end. I don't know. We'll see how far it sticks out. I found these little print-offs that a friend of mine gave me that she had run off on her computer. And I thought, what do I want with a bunch of cowgirl stuff? But hey, it's paying off right now, isn't it? Because I got a little trail ride theme going here. And this will be perfect to put on my little tag. I hate fussy cutting. What my daughter, my, my granddaughter calls it something. I had, I think I'm going to put this cowgirls little thing on here. Um, my granddaughter calls some, it's some form of cheating. When they do it at school, you know, cut around and leave white around their pictures. They have a word for it. I can't remember what it was. Shadow, shadowing or something. I don't know, but it's a 
fancy word the kids use for cheating. I'm just going to glue that on the front. And probably go around it with my Stabilo because Stabilo is the mascara of the art world. No jobs complete without a little Stabilo, right? And then I think it'll be good to go. As Lori Marie Jenkins says, do a little spit and smudge to activate your Stabilo. There we go. Now, I'll put my little story on the back. Another page done. Now, it is time for me to go in and make hubby some supper. What do you think about that? Can't see Amy and Cindy very well. There they are. Trail ride. Probably I'll leave this tag out until it dries. Okay, there you are. Thanks for hanging with me. Probably I'll lower this a little more, shouldn't I? Hey, I'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye from Birdie.